I have a dragon off in here. Yeah, not a single dragon off. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. And it looks like uh, characters have been locked in. We're going straight into the gameplay, I think. Yes. Yeah, here we go. Stage random. In we go. Yeah, to no surprise, we got the, um, the players as we expected. So let's see how this goes. And we are still in winter semifinals, so still first to two. So it's uh, not a lot of time to adjust here. What a step right off the bat from Hendo. Demon Paul. He's got to watch out for those chainsaws. No punish. Good hop kick. Ooh. Flip him over. Oh, he got the grab. He tried to make the uh, the hesitation right there, uh, but Square just went for it. And that should be the round. Round one goes to Hendo. Nice. Really clean play from Hendo here. Good awareness. Yeah. With these uh, two very well experienced players, uh, we're not going to be seeing really any knowledge checks at this point. We're just going to see, you know, some timing changes, some feints, all that good stuff. And really just, um, you know, see a wave open up the, the other player. Oh. The frames challenging the chainsaws. Smash, plus frames. Got all the health back. Oh. oh, almost got the conversion to finish the round, but not going quite there yet. Still got the round, though. Oh my goodness, what, what just happened right there? Good, nice duck. duck. We might get the wall explosion right here. He knows really good at the wall carries. Oh, he's not going to use it though. Nice grab. Oh my goodness, that's the animation from the side grab. We haven't seen that before. Skur opting for a lot of these uh, Abare grabs to get out of the wall. Absolutely. Oh, here's a whip punish. Ooh. Back to one. That's a really good keep out too for Jin. This always has been too. What a scramble at the end there. Yeah. Throw break right there. No, no, another throw. No breaks repeatedly from Hendo right now. Ooh, the hop, hop kick. kick. The handle hop kick special right there. Goes for the pack. No quick get up. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, hop Just too late on the hop kick. That spike tech from Jen doesn't lead to a guaranteed CD1 on the floor. You can actually quick stand and block, but you have to know and do it quickly. So Jen can still take advantage of the spike anyway. Yes. Definitely not easy to time at all. Throw break right there. Nice. Nice counter hit. So it looks like Hendo did drop it because he, uh, he is considered airborne. Did he just dash block the chainsaws? Looks like he did. Oh, the hop oh, kick. Oh, the hop kick. That could be the round. Rage art. Yes, that should be the Surely. Surely, I did, surely he's dead. I did like how he uh, adjusted uh, the combo. You saw this on uh, the slight side step to, make, to be sure you hit the wall spot right there. Yeah, it's very clean stuff. I like the dash block on the chains. I cannot believe he blocked that. He yes. moved this. It was the smallest step forward, and he still blocked. Yes, Hendo's. Um, he's been working on that dash block so quite a bit, and it it's definitely been showing. He's. Um, I've been like going to his house sessions so maybe uh, once in a while, and he's been, um, I'm seeing him now practice his dash block, and it's insane how well he's doing it now. All right, into game two. Got stage gimmicks still in play, just different ones this time. Yeah, there's only one wall break um, in this stage as of right now, but it does suggest it to a balcony break. 
then you have even more wall blasts. This is quite an interesting stage. It is. Forward stance. And there, it is a double layer wall too, so he's gonna have to break it twice to be able to get that break. Or you just heat smash the spawn at once. Yeah, absolutely. Throw breaks from Hendo. Right, nice dash block, too. Yeah, dash block into the armor. The sidestep. Hendo looking clean right now. Very clean movement right on Hendo's defense right there. Mm. Everyone's favorite move to deal with from Jen. Down two. Yep. I still got. I still do not understand why it's only minus 14 on block. <laughs> it's that is pretty not, crazy. That is not fun to deal with. Oh Ooh. my God! He called it. He was just standing there, and so he can mash Can Can during the time stop and get it. And a very ballsy move from Kendo's part because. Um, if he went and fully engaged the, um, the heat engager, that would have flowed him in, uh, into a combo. Yep. Ooh. Oh, there it is. The quick stand and block. Square's going to have to pull something out if he wants to um, win this one. He knows the full control of this one right now. He's running out. Ooh, oh, the hot kick. That'll that do should it. be it. And Hendo moves on to the winner's final, securing himself already a top three spot in this br uh, bracket. So he gets to be on the podium. Hey, man, it looked like. Looks like we got the fist bump and we're going to stage select. So here we go. Get ready for the next battle. We're going to the Sakuta training ground. Speaking of stage gimmicks, this is a, a combo video stage if I've ever seen one. Absolutely. Every, all the Tekken 7 players have flashbacks to Howard Estate because this is basically the same stage. Yeah. I actually prefer this one because you have, you know, it's not all the stages are just loaded on one side, stacked up on top. It's like, you know, both sides. Yeah, it is more interesting. Um, but already Rhythm with a powerful life lead in this first round. Uh, all the great health away. Ace Unlimited didn't need it anyway. Round two. <laughs> Ooh, guard break. Ooh. He's got to be careful right here. He could can can uh, right at this well, which a lot of uh, Kazama players uh, like to do. But Rhythm's definitely being um, a little patient with the pressure. Yeah, you have to be, like you said, against a good player. Oh, the float. This is going to hurt. The wall is available. So is Rage Art. Yeah, you're going to spend it all. Yeah, this is probably not going to kill because he is considered airborne. But yeah. it is going to take away all the recoverable health, so he's not going to be able to reco uh, recover any. Now, will it, what will Ace Unlimited do with his heat? Blows it immediately. Oh. Wow. One good sidewalk and that round was over. Fight. Nice low parry. What is this combo? Oh my goodness. What a carry on that combo. Oh, good dock, but no punish. One touch. One touch is all Rhythm needs, and there it is. Game one going to Rhythm. We no were talking about Ace Unlimited's defense, but uh, there was just no holes to exploit. Yes, really. If, um, you know, defense can only carry you so far, and um, 
Rhythm was definitely able to uh, capitalize on the like, opportunities that he was um, given. And of course, um, definitely Ace was not really able to do much to really um, to capitalize on, you know, and open up Rhythm the way he wanted to to get the offense going. We got the Tekken 8 Classic here going to stage like randoming the same stage again. Love to see it. Oh, there it is, the Kazama Can Can. It's gonna hurt. Hit him with the solid throw breaks. He's gonna cash it out. Oh! Basically, seven gold letters for Ace Unlimited. Very good. That's what you wanna see in a game, too. Right here. Yeah, oh, this, nice grab. This Jun pressure looking strong. Good block. And did get the correct punish this time. I think that was a missed parry Ooh. from Ace and Limited there. Smash whiffs, though. Nice. And Ace, what a um, really good um, momentum shift right there. Ace now up 2 0. Yeah, Ace showing us that defense we were just talking about. Can Can get the duck. Optimal punish from Rhythm. Oh, the faint right there. Trying to change with his timing. Oh, that should be the round. Easily. Round four. Fight. Oh, oh, trying to parry, but not able to get it. Good parry, just not active for that long. You have to time it properly. Ace Unlimited in danger here. Pops his heat. Good block. Don't watch out for the heat. Heat smash. That's what I was about to say. Oh, but still gets caught by that jumping mid. Like I said before, like earlier, um, it's insane how uh, quickly momentum can just shift in this, game, in this game. It is. It is insane. Ooh. Oh, Perry. On the down jab. Break the wall right here. Yep. Riddles look shit. Trying to run away with this one right now. Oh, there's the punish. But Ace is saying, not so fast right now. He does have quite a bit of health and rage. Nice throw break. Is Ace gonna pop the heat? Tries from the can can, gets blocked, pops heat. 10 seconds left. Trying to get some health back right here. What'll it be? Oh! The jumping mid clips him again with three seconds left on the clock, and that is it. Obviously, but uh, he got that wavu wavu. Yes, and we—I know he's excited for um. <laughs> for hey the Haji, next, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next as, as am I, as am I. It's gonna be super fun. And here we go into our uh, our next losers match. We got Coliseum, so that means well, walls are technically in play. In reality, not so much. Yes. However, this isn't the biggest stage in the game. Yes, it's not Yakushima. You can make it to the wall. It's just a lot of work. I I like hmm. the fact that there are no true wall in stage for me. Means running away eventually has a consequence. 
that just tells you the developers and the gameplay is just uh, really want to encourage um, engagement in this game. Yeah. Yeah. That... Oh, nice hop kick. That could be the round. Is though. this gonna kill with heat? No. Drops. Counter hit throw to seal the round for Joel. So it seems like Akemi uh, didn't really like this uh, what he saw of, um, in the axis of. Uh, of that combo, so probably that's the reason why he didn't really fully commit to, the, uh, to finishing it yeah. and get himself in better position. The last thing you want is to pop heat and whiff. Nice Ooh. sidewalk. Hmm. Counter hit low. Getting a Kemi 1 1 in round count. Another big counter hit. Consecutive running threes. Joel fires back with a running move of his own. Ooh, big counter hit. Should hurt. Drops again. Nice hell sweep. Oh, wasn't able to get the punish, bro. Get off me. Kemi just not letting Joel find his momentum for offense. Whoa, the mid crush. But the combo drop, it still hurts. Joel at half life now. Good block. Start throwing out the electrics. And Joel finally getting some momentum. I say that, but immediately he eats a counter hit low. Caster curse to be sure, because this is gonna kill. And Akemi takes the first game. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna get some coaching from uh, from Hendo uh, to his training partner and Joel. Let's see what these guys are here. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, so it looks like uh, uh, Joel was not able to see Hendo's um on call. Oh, we're going into game two. We're now in Sanctum. So now we've definitely got walls and gimmicks in play. Oh, nice uh, low crush right there. Yeah, that was a good option select from Joel. Kemi firing back with some pokes and offense of his own. Counter hit, but no confirm. Nice sidestep electric from Joel. Gonna get the wall. Okay, Akemi, after the wall situation, putting Joel's back to the wall, and the heat burst trade. It's a scramble. Oh Who's gonna come out on top? Akemi with the plus frames, and he cleans the round up. That's the that, that's the defense I was talking about with Akemi. That was very chaotic at the end there. Nice duck on the uh, low Sentai. Gonna be the wall. Nice. Oh, the hop kick. kick. And you get to see Leo. Not gonna be able to break the wall though. Wall combo. Hop kick the other way. The oh, parry. Parry. Joe's trying to get something going on right here. Ooh. Oh. Oh no, wall break. No launch on the hell sweep either. And that was the thing about Akemi. He uh, he wants to make sure he gets the uh, the punish in. So yeah, he doesn't so go for the launch. Doesn't go for the launch, but it cost him the round there. These pokes from Akemi and Joel adding up here. My sidewalk spends the heat. How much damage can he get here? 
Answers quite a bit. Can he get the wall? Yes, he can. This is gonna kill? Oh my, oh goodness. my goodness. Akimi, one round away from eliminating uh, Mr. Joel. Can Joel uh, get this uh, turned around and get a set on the board? Akimi's not making it easy, though. Kemi wants to close this out. Joel firing back with some pokes and jabs. Pushing a Kemi to the wall. Kemi still has heat though. Spends it, gets the plus frames. What's oh the hop kick? Senpai pressure. No throw break. Oh, Joel. Joel very lucky for uh, the wall spot not, not happening right there. Joel enraged one touch. And that's all a Kemi needs to clean up the match and the set. Joel looked like he uh, he was having a... Here we go. We got the Die Buster Claudio. That is also a classic. He played that in seven as well. Round one. Fight. And in we go. Die Buster faking playing dead by not touching his controls, but already in it with a low block. Nice stuff in the grab right there. Second of running twos. Roman Jelly afraid to duck, and for good reason. Claudio has a arsenal of strong mids. What an interrupt on the <laughs> death fist. Yes. I yeah, was about to ask you. Is like, you really want to duck against Claudio? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, sidestep hop kick. That was clean. Which is a huge problem in, uh, in the high level scene because. Um, you, you see a Claudio player take advantage of that. They beat this, you know, um, using they, running run two. Yeah, they just you know, lock you in place with consecutive running twos and other plus moves. Ooh. All right, good launch from Roman Jelly. Ops to go for the running two. Death Fist whiffs. Pops heat. Die Buster with the random sidewalk into oh, the rage guard. But he got him, he caught him pressing. It's honestly not a, ter a crazy idea. Both players sidewalking the same direction. You expect a button. Roman yeah. Jelly not dead yet, though. Oh, with the running tackle, of course. A classic. Yeah, absolutely. Die Buster looking insanely clean. Oh, but no throw break. Sidestep hop kick not working this time. But he gets the low block. And it's Roman Jelly whose defense is looking lacking right now. Oh Ooh, my god, shot on side step. Again. There's the wall. What's for breakfast? Spends it. And Ooh. the jab into the low cleans up the mat of the first game of this set. Die Buster looking insanely clean. He's nope. he's smiling at the camera. Die Buster's feeling good, man. Oh yeah. After after performers like that. If you're uh, if you're Roman Jelly now, what are you what are you thinking? What's your game plan to get back into this? Oof. I would say um, maybe you know just trying to see what what he's um, really doing and uh, figure out what he's actually like doing and then uh, maintaining the the composure from that pressure. Um, he is in a very uh, much smaller stage now, so he's definitely going to have um, the um, you know uh, the the wall pressure on his side now because Paul Paul being one of the most um, Dangerous characters at the wall. Oh yeah, for sure. Die Buster spending some of that heat. Spending all his heat. There's the shoulder we talked about. Ooh, that just killed. Die Buster stealing back some momentum with the down jab he loves so much on this Claudio. I cannot believe that down jab string is safe. Absolutely crazy. Ooh, the jump back, and then the era spends he immediately for a chunk of damage oh. on the mid. Is that gonna do it? He's got the wall. Yeah, I think so. Die Buster one round away from advancing already. This has been a Fight. clinic. Oh. Okay, there's a big launch from Roman Jelly. Gonna get gotta the give him to the wall right here. Here's the Paul wall pressure. What'll it be? Trying to get him to keep him on the wall. There's the down jab. 
Oh, oh. the sidewalk. Oh, there's the Claudio back one, infamous. For a reason. Now it's the breakfast. Guess right, or it's over. And he does not. Dive Buster advancing with a 6-0 round count. <laughs> Uh, no surprises on the character select screen, and we are going into the first game in a second here, and it'll be Midnight Siege. I, um, I'm medium on this stage. It's rather small. Probably the smallest stage in the game, I think. Or at least it feels like it. Yeah, possibly. Round one. Fight. And there is one hate stage hazard. You see the wall with the bombs right there. Kemi already trying to parry, but Ace Unlimited going for uh, Jun's legs instead. With heat engage. Kemi back to the wall. The stage is so small, like I mentioned, and we're going to get Leo's patented wall combo. Basically, all of that almost guaranteed. Oof. And over just like that, uh, Ace Unlimited on the board. Ooh, okay. Like a counter hit. Ooh. Taking us to the wall. Jun patented damage. Both of these characters have very high combo damage. There was the humming option, like I mentioned, but Ace Unlimited whiffing it. Can be taking full advantage and turning this round around, but gets can can. Jun damage again. Can we spend heat? And gets Ooh. his low block. Can't blame him for going for it there. Yeah, that that would have been uh, really ugly for a base right there with the brawl with, with the wall block. Wall right there, yeah. Oh, good sidewalk. Oh, this wall pressure, man. Popping heat. To breakfast. Spends the heat. Ace Unlimited not able to escape this wall pressure. It'll be the end of him, and we're going to round four. Big counter hit. Goodness. Ace Unlimited just making a few too many errors in spacing here, and Akemi taking full advantage. Almost clear, claiming this first game here. One touch will be all it takes. Kemi taking that in a decisive fashion. I kept seeing Ace Unlimited with a, a few too many whiffs, honestly. Yes. Just not spacing things out right. Yeah. Layla's a very weird character. If, um, you know, if, it seems like when he's, you know, moving forward, uh, he's really not, like, um, coming towards you. And, oh, dang, we got the same stage again. Um, and then, of course, you got the backsplay from the stance. So, you know, um, Definitely a character that's uh, quite tricky um, to get uh, to get your hits in. Yeah, usually when a character is like closing in on your space, it's easier to clip them, but it doesn't seem to be the case as much with Leo. Good pressure. Look at this pressure from Akemi. It's a consecutive low saying, get off the floor. Okay, a good sidewalk. Mm. That's a bunch of health covered for Ace Unlimited. Oh my goodness. Mad. Is this gonna kill? Yeah, that should be it. That damage, my goodness. That's the homing mid, like I said. Ace Unlimited may be finding their footing, I say, but they whiff a parry and a Kemi gets a heating it. But then the can can. This is gonna hurt. The wall blast is there. Yep. Wall. To the wall. Ace Jun finding the, the opening right there. And the Hadouken heat smash from Jun easily taking the round. That's the answer, well, of the spacing from Akami. Just, just use the full screen moves. But the problem is, you can only use it once per uh, round, though. Yeah, but if you use it right, I mean, it's got him two rounds so far, so clearly it's working. 
Question is, can he keep it up? Or is he going to eat a down for two? And then have to deal the with Akemi's wall pressure. Yeah, the low on wake up. That'll do it. Akemi on the board. The counter hit. That's so much damage. God, the, the reaction by um, Akemi. Yeah, Akemi with his good blocks. Oh what? my god, what a punt whip on it. Akemi clearly created that whip by playing good footsies. Oh, oh and the hop kick. <laughs> All right, Akemi on set point. Pokes from Ace, adding up a little. Oh, good back three. Finally paying off. To the wall. There's the Hadouken. Is this going to kill? It did last time. Yeah. Yes. Ace Unlimited tying it up 1-1. One, one. That heat smash, man. With the wall is behind you. It is deadly. Yes. And... Looks like Ace definitely got, uh, did cut some web uh, from McKinley, um earlier, uh, but was able to um, to scrape them off and you know um, recover and finish the match out. So another uh, another game we going. <laughs> yeah, if I'm uh, if I'm a Kemi right now, I'm thinking that I just need to clean it up just a little bit more and not give uh, not give the Jun player the uh, the opportunities to keep landing these big heat smashes. Yes. That's what's been costing him so many rounds. And maybe the stage will uh, make a huge difference because we're going from the stage that, you know, that um, relies on, you know, the spacing of the walls and a wall break now to really on the floors. Although there's still quite small wall space here on the first floor. Yes. Wall pressure could be still quite important. Ace Unlimited already spending the Hadouken. Yes. My guess is that Akimi will well, most likely will try to break the wall, uh, the first floor as soon as he can. So we yeah. get the more space, uh, space that he needs. Or not. To play his game. Yeah, this is where, uh, where he does not want to be at. Good throw break. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice block on the low. Ace of Limited getting the round off of that. Kemi was a little too bloodthirsty, I think. He could have uh, maybe changed his timing a little. Yes. Ace have been expecting that um, Hell Sweep. He's been getting them with that um, yeah. Hell Sweep um, off the wall from the Oki uh, quite a bit. Ace finally be able to sniff that one out. Uh, good down one plus two from Ace Unlimited. Doesn't get the wall. Oh, actually puts themselves at the wall, but gets the heat engage anyway. Good back sway from McKemi. Okay. Oh, what a duck. Ace Unlimited finding these ducks now. Ace is feeling himself right now. Now it's Akemi who's back to the wall here and is about to lose the set. Good throw. There we go. Downstairs, still has Tornado. Wall. This combo. Oh, one too many hits. Trying to find the spacing here. Good low block. Oh, the trade! But oh. it's in Ace Unlimited's favor with the floor break. He is airborne though, so the damage is not going to be there yeah. completely. Yeah, that's funny enough that did about as much damage to Kemi as it did to Ace Unlimited in the original trade. Scaling is funny in this game like that. But that, with the rage, I think it's going to do it. Oh no, two seconds left. But the timer, <laughs> the timer, 2%, it's enough. Akemi's not able to recover any health because he can't physically reach him. There's, uh, there's no other character in this game quite like her. Yes. It's really difficult to hit her in um, a list of players. They don't a lot. They don't really simply play defense because they don't really have to because they just gotta um, just keep flying around. Flying around. Uh, 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 backup stance. Down back one evades so many things. Yes. 
in we go. Skir trying to get chainsaws out right off the bat, but Divos is not going to let that happen. But apparently a sidestep hop kick will catch him too. No wall. Ooh, but the running two is good. Oh, nice call out. Delayed string, still getting blocked from Obscure. Man, it is so weird though. Uh, Obscure went for that grab like uh, so many times. And majority of them they have got broken. I think that's the first time we've seen all night um, for the finally to get that grab through. Yeah. Not afraid of um, the, uh, the throw it out, even if they're breaking them. It's a lot for the mental stack of the opponent, too. You have to constantly be watching for that throw, because if you slip up just a little bit, you got grabbed. Yeah, they, and they can, uh, they can add up quite uh, easily, too. Ooh, this is going to hurt. Skir finding the timing to interrupt Die Buster here. E smash. Good nice block. block. This is the Claudio pressure I was talking about so hard to deal with. Skir's been doing a decent job so far. Ooh. Spring kick tries to press a button but gets hop kicked by Die Buster. Heat not connecting. It's an awkward sidewall combo. The down jab is good from Die Buster. Spinning heat, throw break. Ooh. Spins heat the other way, this is gonna hurt. A lot of recovery will help too. He has almost half his life bar back uh, in heat. I mean, not nice in heat, rage. Get off me. Ooh, the pick up. Doesn't kill. Quite. He's got to be careful right here. And the jab into the low. It's such a good round ending tool. Even good players get hit by it quite a bit. Floor break no longer in play. This is where you not want to be. Yeah, don't want to be back to the wall against the Chainsaw Alyssa. Ooh, hop kick is blocked. Wall splat. This is big damage. Uh, okay, side wall things. Ooh, Ooh, the running one plus two. Felt like that deleted a third of his life bar. I think so. That was so much damage. And that, just like that, Die Buster's up one game, even though Obscure looked really good, especially at the start. The but Die Buster just finding those timings, finding that movement, and absolutely destroying uh, Obscure with these giant combos. I mean, some of them dropped halfway through. Round one. Fight. Okay. Ibus are already in rage. Looks like Obscure has made some adjustments here. Ooh, the power crush. Yeah, that Alyssa power crush is so good. Uses it again, gets blocked this time. Good duck on the running too though. What keep out from Die Buster, but still gonna have to block this mix. Guess is wrong, and the final down forward four poke from Skir gonna get the round. Ooh, big counter hit. Is he gonna get the wall with this? I think so. Uh, uh, uh. What? what a call out by uh, Die Buster here. Nice sidestep by nice Skir. Oh my goodness. Oh. Guess. Guess correctly. Good movement. That's going to do it. Rage Art. Divester on the board. Not going to get 3 0'd in this game, too. 
What a sidewalk. And that could be the uh, the, uh, the game changer right there. Yeah, yeah. He's still in it. Power crush. Ooh, nice. Scaled because Skiro is airborne, but still hurts. Nice duck. Doesn't let Die Buster get the momentum, but then. Ooh. Oh my oh. goodness, the, it whiffed, but the down jab, it still clinched the round. Very messy, but Die Buster is still going to take it to a final round. He's on set point here. Can't have Skirt turn this around. He's in trouble. Buster looking very strong, pushing Obscure to the wall. But the 1-1, one -one, it's good. Chainsaw's time. Good back sway. Get off me. Oh, he could have left the Twin Piston rip. Oh, the uh, airborne, oh, no. but it oh. drops. This is so messy. What's going to happen? Oh, the heat oh. smash. That could have been anyone's game, man. Oscar feels uh, quite a bit of relief right there. He's still, uh, Still has another chance. Yeah, yeah. That just felt like a roll of the dice in the final round, man. Absolutely. Especially the, the heat burst causing a float, but then Die Buster not getting the pickup. Like, I'm not even sure what happened there. His move just whiffed. It looked like it went through him. Yeah, Maybe he chose the wrong move. I'm not a Claudio player, so I don't know what the pickup is there. It might have been a misinput. I'm not sure. Uh-oh. 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 Chainsaw things. Seven gold letters. Purple floor. This is looking bad for Die Buster already. Obscure very happy with this turn of events. Obscure's feeling his... Oh, whoa. I think he's really whoa, feeling himself. he's really now. feeling himself. Oh, he, and he pulled out the chainsaws immediately. Die Buster needs to calm down. Yes, and make plays like that with a sidestep hop kick. Taking us downstairs. Combo. Ooh. Downstairs. No more floors and uh, breaks in play. What a combo. The counter hit. Die Buster on the board. This is so back and forth. I love it. Ooh. Big whiff. Die Buster going for a hard call out of round. Oh, start. try to Not go for working. the counter hit. Kept at the hot. Oh, the float. Ooh, heat smash hits. Oh, he canceled it. I'm not sure that was the play. Die Buster in trouble now. Die Buster in big trouble. Oh, what a sidewalk. I think oh, that, that does it. Oh, and Die Buster Buster stays alive. Such a strong performance from Die Buster, but Obscure going to be moving on here. When it, if it, when it comes to humbling uh, from a game, I say Tekken is definitely one of them. Yeah, yeah, one of the absolutely. most humbling games you, uh, you would definitely be playing. Got some cheers from the crowd here as we go into our winner's finals. Definitely exciting stuff. Hendo versus Rhythm onto the Coliseum. And in we go. Immediate Hell Sweep from Hendo. Ooh, but Rhythm firing back with a heat engager, getting most of the health back. Hugs from both players. Nice sidewalk on the electric. But the oh, parry! the parry! This is combo. Heat smash is good. Hendo taking it. What a crazy first round. Raw electric. Yeah, these two players have been seeing each other quite a bit in um, 
in the tail ends of, of a lot of brackets lately. So they definitely are um, starting to feel each other out now. It is really more about who's setting the tone more. Nice sidewalk. Uh, into the face, I believe that one is guaranteed. Let's see him in the back. Oh, the Ooh. heat smash. Rhythm says I can do that too and takes a round from his own. Demon Ball. Oh, wow. Wall standing for there. Interesting option. Oh, the orbital. That should be the round. Yeah, it is. Rhythm up 2 1 here. Looking very strong. I don't know Slouch either, though. This active defense in these pokes. Oh, they start to add up, but then Rhythm lands a heat engager, and the momentum is completely the other way. It's so hard to play small Tekken in this game for that very reason. Good duck. Oh, but didn't duck that one. And Rhythm cleans up the first game. And we have to remember, this is a best of three, so Hendo has a lot of room to adjust here. Absolutely. He's going through um, a little bit of thinking right now, see what he kind of adjusts his next, because he did have a very strong start uh, in game one. So I believe we are looking at the, uh, the notes, maybe, or maybe adjusting music. Get ready for the next battle. Anyway, we're going into the next game, and we got my favorite stage, the new stage. The stage is beautiful. Absolutely. I love that they give us the new stages for free, too. That's a, that's a nice thing. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh good parry. Hendo lands these parries, man. Feels like there's not much Rhythm can do. He just got his timing red, and that is the round. The wall. He goes for the mid. Oh, good float. What is this combo? It scaled, but that still did a chunk. Oh, good oh. sidewalk. <laughs> oh, he tried to parry it, but uh, did not get it in time. Yeah, he missed it. He was too early. Oh, the punish. The hot kick. Wall. Uh, uh. Wait a minute. Yeah, seven gold ladders for Hendo. That sidestep punch from Jen is very tricky to deal with. Ooh, okay. Good counter hit from Rhythm getting heat. Or real good block. Pokes from Kendo adding up, but then the heat smash. Oh, and suddenly Rhythm is tying it up, taking us to final round, and we get to see the night version of the stage. Absolutely gorgeous. Fire Gotta pay attention to the too. match. Sideways movement from Hendo here, big. Hendo really does not want this to go down 2-0. Oh, the trade. Ooh. Slide oh, with the whiff, one more hit, and the back to one. It's good. Hendo ties it up one one.
So let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like yeah, no um, seem switches. like they're going to be character switches. I think he just needs some extra time to take a little bit of breather. Yeah, it might have even been a, a miss press. Get yeah, absolutely. We're back to Elegant Palace. Game number three, Phyllis. This has been some good Tekken so far. We've seen some hype Jin parries. Rhythm is always fun to watch. Oh, there's a good forward four from Hendo. He doesn't get the wall. Yeah, not quite there yet. And oh. Rhythm taking full advantage of this momentum here. Good oh, way to punish. Ball. Good sideways movement from Rhythm, getting him out of the wall, but he's still getting clipped by Hendo. Oh, but now dodges the forward forward two, and now he gets a wall splat. Yeah, and there goes the wall. Doesn't like get the downstairs. Hendo spends his heat, but gets sidewalked again. <laughs> Rhythm with these sidewalks, man. I think Hendo needs a little more tracking moves. Good pokes. Four, four. Rid of enrage now. Heat engage. Oh, but the jab float, it's enough. Hendo takes the round on the board, game three. Oh, the oh, orbital, no. it's good. The wall? No, not quite. Oh, the parry. Oh, the parry was able to get the launch, though. Big counter hit. Uh-uh. For breakfast. A throw, no break. Down forward one for. I think that was a counter hit. Ending the round. Ooh, the jumping, heat engaging mid. It was crazy. Oh, but it's sidewalk, but no punish by Hendo. And instead, it's Rhythm who finds a uh, launch here. Oh, good hop oh, kick. kick. Is he going to adjust to a combo right there? It looks like, oh my goodness, what the optimization we're going. Plus frames. Guess. And oh. Rhythm indeed guesses right, and it's Hendo who makes the mistake at the end there. Yeah, just not the correct guess. And it, uh, that was just the difference. If you guessed right, that, uh, that would have won him that, to set, too. That was just straight up coin flip right there. Get ready for the All right, next game battle. number four. Remember, this is first to three because this is winner's finals. So Hendo only needs one more. No, it's Rhythm. Uh, Rhythm, Rhythm yeah. only needs one more, sorry. Yeah. These combos. Oh, interrupting Ooh. the uh, Demon Paw. And then with the jab interrupt. No in trouble. Back to the wall. Oh. Pokes from Redham enough to clean it up. Big counter hit right round start. Definitely wall. You know he's practiced that combo. He'd engage. Ooh, into the guard break. No recovery will help either. Pop heat. Oh my god, the wall jump? That was crazy. That was so crazy. Oh my goodness. That was insane. Rhythm running away right here. Up 
kick. Oh, Trying to catch okay, him. Okay. Okay. Needs to make a count. Blocks. Good block from Hendo. The active defense. Sideways movement from Hendo. Oh, but gets clipped. But I'm not quite getting the wall combo he wanted, but it may be good enough anyway. Hendo, just about one touch here. The oh. wall jump again. Very close call right here. Oh, the heat smash. That could be it. Rage Art, it's going to be close. I, I think don't it's know. Gonna, I think it's gonna kill him. I don't know. I, I saw that first hit move his light bar quite a bit. I think it's gonna kill. Oh, oh just a hair. The oh. back to one. <laughs> that move covers so much distance, it's crazy. Fight. Nice house weave. Oh, the slide. Big counter hit here from Hendo. He needed this. Remember Hendo's tournament, well, winner's final life here on the board. Rhythm could take the set just by ending this round here, but he gets hit by the heat smash, and we're going to game five here. The crowd is loving it. Holy moly, what is going on? Tekken, that, that's what's going on, man. <laughs> Tekken 8, to be specific. This game, this game is crazy, man. Anything could happen. Man. The round before that one, man, like, that yeah, whole interaction like it, in that corner. It, it looked, looked like it was over. Yeah, it looked Why? like it was over, from, but just somehow, just uh, some way, Hendo was able to avoid um, to completely just uh, whiff punish uh, what Rhythm was throwing at him. And Yeah, yeah, Rhythm whiffed a couple big moves, and that was all Hendo needed to get the ball rolling and then take the round. That big heat smash into the wall splat. And now we're on the party stage, so end all party stages. This one is crazy. Engage. Whiff punish. Oh, oh another whiff punish. Try to call that with a hop kick, but not well, quite there. Yeah, Hendo's panic button's getting beaten by rhythm patience here. Gauge. Nice sidestep. Smash. Big damage. Rhythm already up two rounds. This is final round, potentially. Ooh. Rhythm just has Hendo's number, it looks like. Yeah, this is not looking good. Engage. Uh, one HP left. And it's over just like that. Rhythm. Securing my goodness. his spot in the grand finals on I, the winner side of the bracket. I, being relevant, really. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so looking back into Tekken 7, like, um, what it what really, how this, um, the success of it really came into how this game came to be. Yeah, it was the first live service Tekken, if you think about it, you know, with the seasons and stuff, and that was huge. Anyway, we're going into it with Obscure versus Ace Unlimited. Our last loser semifinal match. Nice block and punish from Ace Unlimited. Going to take Obscure to the wall. For breakfast. Oh, damage. Slice at four. These big sidestep moves from Ace. Ooh, coming in clutch, but finally a counter hit landing from Obscure. Both players really trying to use their 3D movement here, but the can-can, is this gonna be enough? Can he get up to the wall? I think he can. Yes, he can. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! That patented Jun damage, man. Basically that entire bomb. 
That, that entire round was damage uh, from two combos. Yeah, just two combos, basically. Throw break. Ace Unlimited is feeling the pressure here a little bit. Backs off. Okay. Scare playing it safe here. Doesn't want to get caught by another can can. Sides up four finds its mark. Good heat Ooh. smash. Barely clipping Ace and Limited. Good block on the low, but no punish. Oh, oh, oh. oh. They're running to catching Look. Ace and Limited on Oki. Yeah, it looks like you oh, try to size up there, but just not get it off in time. Good block from both players. Oh, the whiff. No punish. Gage, chainsaw time. Oh, the clip. So frustrating to deal with these sometimes. Oh, good. <laughs> good forward two, interrupting the chainsaw string. Now it's wall damage time. A Dukin. And the running tackle. Nice duck. Oh, good flow. The wall, not quite. Ooh, the throw. Catching the heat burst. Scar loves that throw, though. I think that's why they're using it so much. They're trying yeah. to catch heat bursts. I think that's the plan. Like, that was only like the second time we've seen uh, somebody um, broke that. This might like all the, like, the times he's uh, throwing it out. Yeah, it does get broken quite a bit. These low pokes adding up from Obscure, and the command throw doesn't get broken either. They still limited half health in this final round already. Ooh, the float. Breaks it that time. Good sidewalk. Give it back. Get off me. Can -can. Good block. This is going to hurt. Got a lot of health to recover, too. Can't quite get a clean wall splat. Got the Hadouken. <laughs> Let's it rip. And Ace Unlimited gets on the board with game one. Yeah, Skirt was definitely looking for it. Um, and then. As soon as he, like, he was trying to um, uh, pursue her, Ace uh, ripped it. Jin Heat Smash nerf, still very powerful. <laughs> yes. Still very dangerous. It's like walking around with a loaded gun, I swear. Yes. Round one. Fight. Woo! Engage. Chainsaw time. Look at this chip. Got chip damage. You're backing off. Happy to play it slow. Get off me. Dukin. Was it close enough to get the wall break, though? Okay, so I'm going to one touch, and the down four finds its mark. Round two. Fight. So got to watch out for his back right here. Ooh, he gets hit by the second hit of that wall string. Break? No wall break, but the damage is still quite high. The block on the low. Off seat. That's a four. 
Trying for that mix up. Good interrupt. Good. Oh, the. Ooh. It would have floated too. That's so unfortunate for Asenol, but he doesn't have enough health. And so now Obscure up two rounds already. Oh my goodness. Oh, the jump over. Okay. Oh, the heat smash. That's going to do it. Obscure oh, tying man. the set. You know, one, one. What a good adjustment from Obscure. For real, yeah. This has been a very close set already. Get ready for the next battle. In the game three, the deciding game in this set. He heading over to Elegant Palace, so there's going to be quite a bit of stage hazards to work with. Letting the intros rock here. Round one. Fight. Ah, nice right back three. Should be the wall. Not quite. Don't get off me. But gets the wall positioning. Big counter hit. To the wall. Engage. Ooh, the clean hit low. Off me again. Gotta watch out for that heat smash. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said it, too. Fight. Ooh. Just a little bit of trying for a forward two, but gets clipped. No break on this throw. Big counter hit. Taking it around. Oh, what a whip punish. This is going to hurt. Okay, so it backs off. They put themselves to the wall, but gets the 4 4 3 straight. Oh. And the down 1 plus 2 on Oki is good. Gets him around. Ace closes out. Skura in there, but gets Can Can going for the double low. Can Can puts you airborne, and so beats lows quite consistently. Very scary stuff. Oh, the, oh, the unblockable. The heat smash. Ace Unlimited. He can close it out here. He just needs one good hit. Oh, the good sideways movement from Skur. A lot on the line right here. Oh. Guess. Oh. Rage Art. Did he press? No, he no. didn't. Okay, that's got to be it. Yeah, going to a final round. Double Luigi situation. Losers goes home. This is it. This is everything. Get off me. Both players unwilling to take huge risks here, and so pokes are happening, but it's Obscure who's now nearly enraged. Oh, but the heat engager. Chainsaw time. Wall. It's gonna hurt. To breakfast. It's the low. Watch Cannon out. Blocks it. Heat smash. Still available. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh that my was god. Crazy. Magic pixel life wakes up. Lets the heat smash rip. I think it just clipped Obscure's movement or something. 
uh, Ace just threw it out just he because. Just, he just threw it out because it was about to run out. Yes. Yeah. That's what I was saying. He, I, that's what I was like. I was looking. I was literally saying, look at the um, uh, has to be made for um, all these players. Yeah, yeah. We're in the home stretch now. Losers final. Hendo versus Ace Unlimited. We've got domestic violence here. A Tekken classic. Oh yes. Oh, down one plus two right off the bat from Ace Unlimited. It's gonna hurt. Side step four is good. <laughs> Running tackle. Round two. Fight. Ooh, two one four. The block. The sidestep. Oh, he trying to look like he got a miss input right there. Ooh, oh, luckily that punish. was not a wall splat. Jun's heat smash fast enough to punish a hop kick. The back three is blocked Ooh. and punished. Hendo very fortunate that heat smash did not wall splat him. He would have been done for. Players oh, the hop kick. Incredible patience and defense here. Ooh. Feels like every poke matters so much here. Gage. Moment stance. Beat smash. Heat smash. He's poked. They add up from Ace Unlimited, and it feels like Hendo just got chipped away the whole round. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. that's only minus 14. Can't do that one. Down one plus two is good, though. What a low berry. Counter hit throw. And Ace Unlimited takes a convincing first game. That was very even the first two rounds, but after that, Ace Unlimited seemed to get a feel for Hendo's defense and movement. Even calling him out the hard low parry read at the end there. Yes. And that's what Ace is um, quite known for if, um, with these low berries. Um, wasn't able to get um, majority, any of them until now, but um, they, he got him when he, uh, when he wanted him. Yeah, yeah. It's impressive when I uh, see a player like pick up on somebody else's habits within one game. Mm -hmm. Round one. See if he can keep that read on uh, Hendo, or if Hendo can make enough adjustment here. Good there low go. Parry. Oh, but gets Ooh. hit by the Demon Paw. It's a mix up. Oh, he got him. Got him ducking. Gotcha ducking. Gotcha ducking for. You're ducking because you don't want to eat that move. Good homing move. Chooses not to eat the uh, heat engager. Good can can. It was at a funny timing too. The wall. Ooh. Okay. Hey, so yeah, Ooh. only needs one good hit, and there it is. Yeah, Hendo tried to catch him with um, uh, leap lunging in at him, but uh, Ace did not fall for it. Yeah, Ace playing uh, delayed timing right now. 
Makes it hard for Hendo to counter hit him. Instead, he's counter hitting Hendo because Hendo's got all this hesitation. Nice. Oh, that should be the round. Yeah, easily. Big launch from Hendo, takes him to the wall. Half-Life. Ooh, big block, but doesn't get the launch punish. Well, maybe he can. Ooh, nice oh, win punish. Oh my goodness. Hendo's just, uh, just not finding the timing uh, on those hop kicks that he's trying to look for. Yeah, and Ace Unlimited has the correct timing every time, it feels like. Yes, absolutely. And Ace Unlimited is sitting comfortably 2-0. The number of times in that match I watched uh, Ace Unlimited pause for a fraction of a second and then can-can and land the big counter hit or uh, step out of the way of a demon claw, like, Hendo's got to change it up, man. Yeah, absolutely. And he's got to change it up quick. He's already down two games. Talking about uh, how longer sets give you more time to adjust. Well, Hendo, you're out of time. You got to do it now, man. You counter hit. You punish him below. Nice electric. This should, should be, be the round. Yeah. All right, Hendo on the board. Is this a sign of change? Down two. It's counter hit by Ace. We've seen this before. Nice duck on the can-can. That's what you need to do. Gotta get him on the wall nice again. Nice duck on the forward four. Hendo finding the ducks now. Is this the adjustment? I think we found it. Seems to close this out now, and we maybe uh, start the comeback. Oh. Jumping mids. Next Finally got the Demon Paul. He's got to watch out. Duken, now safe. Good patience from Hendo, waiting it out. Both players afraid to approach. And for good reason. Ooh, it's a oh, close. the block. Is it, can he close? No, the sidewall and the launch. Ace Unlimited Ooh. not ready for that sidewall. Thought he could keep converting. It drops and it cost him the set, the, the game. Yeah. It was definitely much closer to the wall uh, than we originally thought. And it definitely cost him. Wasn't it able to uh, get the adjustment file with, uh, with the distance that he got? Yep. Quite unfortunate. It cost him the match. In the game four, we've got a big stage this time. Plenty of space for both of these players to move around. And they've shown us that they have that movement, so. Should be interesting. No wall pressure, though. I shouldn't say no. Just unlikely. Yeah, the counter hit guaranteed while rising at, uh, launcher. Good oh. duck on the can can again. Hendo is finding these now. Opting for the tech and the wall horizon, uh, wall standing four. Both these players mashing some buttons together, but Hendo in the lead right now and lands the hit confirmed. Uh oh, Hendo's uh, starting to feel it now. Yeah, is it Hendo's turn to have downloaded Ace instead of the other way around? 
Oh, no punish though. The block. Back Ooh. and forth. The hot kick gets the float. He is airborne though, so he's not going to get that much damage in. Yeah, but he doesn't need much damage. Ace Unlimited in Rage. Oh, the Hadouken, it's good. Spend it. Backs off. Out. Scared of getting counter hit. Good health yes. sweep. I was wondering if he's gonna do go for that one. And just Hit like that, Hendo's on the verge of tying this up. No punish on the board too. Good counter hit. Ops not to heat engage. Big counter hit. Noticing Ace not getting up, opts for the CD1 on the floor. Does a chunk of damage when Jen does that. Good sidewalk. One touch, and Hendo has done it. He's tied it up 2 2. We're going to another game five. Yeah, sixth round straight, too. Dude, this weekend has had so many game fives. I've been watching some of the 2D games, and I swear all their top eights have said to go to team game five. So, some extremely close matches in our top eights this weekend. Absolutely. There you go. Series of pokes from both players. Nobody really getting anything big yet. Look at this movement from both players. But the demon paw is good. Can can. He's only finally finding the timing again. Taking Hendo to the wall. Will he break the wall? Yes, he will. Oh, but the heat smash isn't enough, not quite. Not quite. But the back 2-1 oh, will do two it. One. You gotta be careful getting off the floor against that move, man. Hendo just won seven straight rounds. That's crazy. He only needs two more to secure his place in grand finals. Oh, big counter hit. Duck on the throw. Dukin. Big oh, counter four hit. Four. Explosive wall is there. Oh, he, drops it. He tried to explode it before tornadoing. Oh. But I don't think he needs it. Yeah, that'll do it. Eight round straight by Hendo. This is it. He just needs one more, but he gets hit by the down one plus two. Wall blast active again. Big That's damage. a lot of damage right here. He tries to parry, misses the timing. Oh, the fourth, four, three. Patience for both players here. That was a whip punish. And they're spending yes. the heat into a throw, no, no break. break. Ace Unlimited, one touch from death here. And the back to one, <laughs> getting off the floor again. I'm seeing a theme here, man. But it doesn't matter because it's over. Hendo moving on to grand finals. Nine rounds straight. The reverse sweep, the true cleanest reverse sweep. And in we go, no surprises on the character select screen. This is a rematch after all. We've got Hendo on the Gen and Rhythm on the Shaheen. 
Venom on P2 side, just like last time. This is just a repeat, but Hendo doesn't want this to be a repeat. He wants to win. But he's gonna have to get through Rhythm, and that has proven quite difficult. Rhythm showing us why already. Mm. Seven gold letters right off the bat. And that's, an, that's another uh, advantage for being on the winner side of the break. Uh, on you know the grand finals, where you you had two matches to sit out, uh, and you could download um, you know your opponents from yeah, the losers yeah, finals. Yeah, you can you can watch them play losers finals and try to get the download. And I think that's exactly what Rhythm's showing us here. Plus, I mean, you won before. You, do you really have to adjust much? Yes. You're you're walking in there like oh, I beat this guy already. I just gotta do it again. Yeah, Hindo, he's he's fresh off of you know from. You know the uh, a a huge comeback from yeah. um, from Ace, and you know you know that probably has um, taken a toll on him. Yeah, believe it or not, your brain can get tired. That oh yeah. Thing. I had my fair deals of making the grand finals um, a, co a couple times in this game, and coming from the losing yeah. side definitely um, is a lot more draining uh, than oh, staying the floor on the other side. I think that's gonna kill. Rhythm already up one game. Rhythm wants to take this thing uh, sooner than later. Yeah, Rhythm wants to end this. Got three clean straight rounds, just like Hendo was doing in the previous set on his comeback. Hendo taking a minute on the on the stage like I do not blame him. Yeah, he's getting coaching. He's getting coaching. The coaching from the, the wife. I don't know. I think it's just um, some water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or maybe you know not. What? No, no. Definitely shouted something at him and then ran off. Mm -hmm. The world will never know. Who knows? I, I didn't hear a single word of it, so I, I, I can only guess. All right. In we go. Got Jin Kazama's theme playing, cheering on Hendo on loser side here. And he gets a heat engager. Rhythm already getting quite low on HP in this round. Nice whip punish. Hendo on the board. Did he get the mental reset he needed? Oh, the whiff on the down two, how unfortunate. The cancel into the low. Whiffs. Oh, nice Endo sidewalk. Creating the whiffs now. Gonna have to adjust the combo a little bit though. Oh, he's got it. Oh, yes. Let's go back, he. Gotta watch out. Yeah, Hindo's definitely looking for the back 2-1. Yeah, gets the low block. New Rhythm would look for it at that range. And just like that, Hindo is up 2-0 in this uh, game two alone. Nice 4-4-3. Four, four, so is Tornado. Can he get to the second wall? No, he goes for the floor tech instead. Looks like he just wants the wall pressure for now. Ooh, Ooh. The trade. Oh, he went for the hop kick. Thought he had the frames because of the trade. I don't blame him for trying that. Rhythm getting a rip of damage here. Guard break. Next so again. Up. Only so much you can um, you can block. You gotta press something. Yeah, you gotta. You can't just sit there holding guard forever. Nice sidestep. Okay, engage. Another low. Good sidestep. Oh, sideways movement from Rhythm. Endo not really dealing with it here. Ooh, the big hit. Jumping mid, and that's gonna do it, I think. Yeah, going to final round here. Final round. 
engage. Down two. Hendo got heat. Spends it. Good defense from Hendo here. Chipping away at Rhythm, trying to land a counter hit. Something, there it is. Oh, the trade, he still got the launch. Well, he dropped the combo, and he gets low parried. Disaster. That had to be nerves, but he still gets the game. So, yeah. on the board, round 1-1. One, one. That could be the hesitation, because he saw the wall right there, probably, and uh, probably didn't uh, react in time uh, to be able to get the, um, the conversion and the adjustment that he needed uh, to make the proper combo. Yeah, it could be, it could be. Could also just be the pressure, and then, like we said, you know, he's just had to climb his way back through losers. Like that's a lot. Yes. And some some mistakes are inevitable at this point. I think you know. Get ready for the yes, next and this is a 96 plus um, bracket, so there more points are on the line here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with the world uh, with the world finals um nearing the end, and <laughs> we ran them the same crucial. stage again. You know, it's fine. We we love this stage. It's a great stage. <laughs> Keep playing that Jin Kazama theme, because uh, Hendo seems to get a buff from it. Oh, big counter hit. Drops the combo. Big counter hit back from Hendo. Top C. Ooh, good heat Shattered that glass. Nice little parry. Not gonna let Hendo down jab his way out there. Good combo, my goodness. This is off a low parry. That was a low parry. Uh -huh. That was insane. Nice oh, nice duck. Guard break. Dead. Oh, not quite. One touch though. Yeah. And a heat smash. I don't know why he tried to armor at 1 HP. I guess he thought he needed the heat to make the comeback, but. Slide. Conversion. Taking what he can get. Counter hit again from Rhythm, putting him one round away from getting his second uh, game in the set. This is just a back and forth battle right here. Yeah, both players poking, trying to land something big here. There it is, the 4 4 3, catching Rhythm ducking. It's going to be able to get to the wall? Yes, yes he can. He is. Breaks it. fake out, but Rhythm keeps his cool and gets the uh, the reverse on the pressure here. And the guard break again. Hendo is not ducking these. Oh, wow. As far as I didn't kill him. Patience. The patience for both players here. Oh. Rhythm continues the string and catches Hendo and is now up 2-1. Rhythm on championship point here. And those thinking very well right now. One Character chance. select. This is interesting. If not Jin, who are you playing? Hmm. Reyna. Reyna. The Reyna switch. Back, it's back to the wall. It's do or die. Got to change something. Yes. So right. So if he's gonna, uh, if he uh, picks the stage, he's gonna have to stick with Reina um, for at least two more sets if he wants to turn this around. Yeah. He cannot he's switch stuck. characters. Yeah, he's stuck with it until the reset, right? Yes. He's in the tank. Can't blame him. Yes, he's thinking really hard right now. 
There could be some second thoughts right now. Goes yes. back to the gen. Yeah, he's gonna go back to Jin. Honestly, a safer pick. Yes, he's been rolling with Jin this entire bracket. Uh, switching to Reyna may not be a good choice because he has to have got down the muscle memory. Yeah, to yeah. You don't, you don't want to pull out a character that's cold this far in the bracket. Yes. That can be a bad idea. If he was playing Reyna early, that would be a different story. Yeah, if he was switching back and forth the whole time, that'd be another story, right? Yes. Players landing lots of these low pokes. Rid him with the big counter hit though. Oh, oh the parry! Finally gets it. Hendo been trying for those. Finally lands one. Hell sweep. And the pokes from Hendo find their mark, getting him on the board here. Good sidewalk. Gage. He finally ducked one. Rudiman has been hitting with the no mix mix for so long, I wondered if he was ever going to do it. Mm. Good sidestep. With the Oki set up. And gets the board for a three. <laughs> Endo one round away from tying it up 2-2. Two, two. Nice oh my job. Goodness. Yeah, Endo. Riddle is definitely trying to catch him. But Hendo is definitely making the right decisions at the right time. Yeah, Hendo finally making those adjustments. Looking very strong. Oh, oh. just in time. Oh. oh. That's going to put Rhythm on the board here in this game number four. Oh, the homing move. Pokes oh. and the dock on the homing move. Riddim worried about the sidestep, but gets ducked instead. And he'll close this out. Oh, oh my God, the dock, but he doesn't get it, but he doesn't get the counter. Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage here. He's in rage too. Oh, he drops it. Drops it. Back to ones. Delays one. The patience, the movement. He regained enough that he... Oh, my goodness, he's trying to get the dick jab. Ah, what's going to oh happen? Oh, my gosh, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, my God, he's catching it. Oh, my God, he oh ducked. Oh, my God. <laughs> he ducked, but he got clipped by the second hit. He didn't have the patience. Oh, my Oh, my goodness. God. What composure by Rhythm on that last round. Like, Hindo was looking for that back 2-1 this entire time, and just, Rhythm was just able to um, block them. Hendo made a small mistake there standing back up in the second hit of that string, but this round he's looking pretty strong. He just needs to close this out. The Rhythm wants to close this out and take the entire championship. It lands a low. Hendo still has some heat, spends it, but backs off, doesn't want to make a big mistake. It can cost him everything here. Nice block. Hendo's got to be Blocks careful here still. Good Demon Paul. Yes, oh. big counter hit. We're going to another game five. Another one. The crowd is loving it. This is so back and forth. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what's going to happen. I, 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 I thought I knew where this set was going early on. It looked like, you know, oh, Rhythm has this in the bag. You know, he's looking so strong. But as this goes on, it gets more and more frantic. We've got both players, they made their adjustments, and now it's just like, who gets the counter hit? Who gets the duck? Oh, man. Get ready for the next battle. Is reset or uh, finale time here? Yeah. This is either it or we're about to see way more Tekken. 
you guys want more Tekken, you better chair for Hendo. Alright, in we go. Game number five. A oh, big low parry off of Rhythm right already. Okay. Rhythm's kind of put himself in the wall. But it doesn't matter because uh, Hendo isn't blocking anything right now, apparently. Eat. Good lo uh, low block. Ooh. This is going to hurt and going to get to the wall, most likely. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh. Uh. Oh, oh caught him. Second hit again. It's so annoying. It's so annoying to punish. Is he gonna do one hit or is he gonna do both? We don't know. My car break. Good health sweep. Oh. Smash. Doesn't finish it. So hard to punish. Oh. Uh -oh. Not looking good for Hendo in this round. Both well, players playing extremely patiently, but it's Rhythm who's landing the pokes. Ten seconds left. Hendo needs to land something big. And oh, he, he, he bet it all it. on that one. He full sent that string, and I don't blame him since we had such little time left. Rhythm on championship point again. Hendo needs to play absolutely perfectly here. But he keeps getting oh down for to one it. to death. Good sidewalk. Oh, Good low parry. parry. Wants to get to the wall. Yeah, okay. not the wall. He really kind of want to get there, I don't think. Yes. Yes is right. Heat engage. Gets a bunch of light back. And that's <laughs> it. Riddle takes it. Takes the set. Takes the championship. <laughs> takes everything. He is your Tekken 8 champion here at Beast in the East. Oh what my. a set, what a tournament. That was incredible. That is an amazing grand finals. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling for the camera. All right. But man, what a what a hell, hell of a series that was. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, I think we're signing off here. That was some incredible Tekken that you just witnessed. I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, this is Araragi298. You guys can watch me on twitch.tv slash Araragi298. And uh, this is Calvinator. Yes. Uh, you, get, you can also find me um, here on Twitter. You can uh, see the link, of course, on my app. And also if, uh, give a big shout out to my sponsor, um, the Swiss Events. Give them a big follow up on Twitter and Twitch. We host uh, weekly uh, tournaments. Uh, for um, Tekken and Street Fighter. We'll be adding more tournaments uh, very soon. Just uh, be on the watch out on our Twitter account for uh, some announcements. All right, we're signing off now. Uh, King of Fighters starts tomorrow at 1230. So until then, we're saying goodbye. Bye.